Hey baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi everybody, welcome to day 14 of the Bruvent Beer Calendar. Two weeks in. I know, right? Hard to Ooh. believe. All right, uh, let's see what we have to talk about and try tonight. Oh, this okay. is a classic. I've never had this, I don't know why. Um, this is an Narragansett. Um, yeah. It is... <laughs> Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Oh, that's a great tagline. I love it. Have a Gansett. Um, uh, since 1890, beer of the clam. That's fantastic. Um, this is one of those that I've always known about and have never actually I tried. Never Let's see. So, yeah, Narragansett has been around for a really long oh my time. Gosh. I don't understand the beer of the clam, but I will look. I guess it's because of where it's made. I will look that up. Look how beautiful that is. It's really pretty. So, um, oh, really Gansett tiny, is, I believe, sorry. go ahead. Tiny, very active bubbles yeah. in that. Yeah, really quite gorgeous. Just yeah. clinging, the, the so carnage is clinging to the bottom of the glass, and it's got a beautiful, wow, four finger head on the top. Um, it says, made on honor, sold on merit. Those are American values, folks. Um, so I think this one is, this one has your name written all over it, my dad. Right. Hey, you just said it because the head's really tall and you want me to exactly. film on Exactly. You don't have a mustache once you get stuck in. Oh, oh, okay. I'm assuming it's a Pilsner. It looks like a classic American Pilsner. That would be my assumption. Or lager. Let's try it. What are you thinking, kiddo? It tastes like... <laughs> I was not like a beer drinker in mm -hmm. like high school or college. I, I, I was good in two shoes. I, I waited until I was old now. But man, that tastes what, like I always imagined like a Milwaukee's best or whatever should taste like. It's super simple. Mm -hmm. It's clean. Mm -hmm. And I've said it before, but it tastes like beer. Yep. Uh, I completely agree. Yeah. Um, it tastes like one of those the lagers that I remember stealing a sip from my dad's glass um, when I was a kid. It has that real nostalgic flavor to it. Um, I, I, I kind of really dig it. It, it runs a little, it's, it's a little bit on the sweeter side toward, you know, a Bud or a Miller, but without going that far. Mm -hmm. uh, quick story, you probably can't see, maybe with, the, with this angle, you can see the bubbles on the bottom. When I was a kid, my dad would not let us wash anything that he drank beer out of with soap or drink milk out of any of those. If he caught us drinking milk out of any of his beer glasses, his beerware, he really he wasn't a, an abusive dad at all. He would just give us a very stern look, um, and he wouldn't let us sip out of the glass anymore. But but this is what he was looking for: that bubble structure on the bottom of the glass and climbing up the side of the glass. It's not just the head and the lacing; it's all that stuff on the bottom. He says that means you've got a glass that's ready for beer. And what he would do is every couple of weeks he would actually rub salt on the inside of his beer glasses to just make sure they were all done like that, rinse them with hot water and let them dry. And that's the kind of beer bubbles that you would get treating a glassware that way. That's just an old family tradition. So anyway, that's what we used to do. Um, so uh, is this a beer that if you saw it someplace, you would actually want it? You know what? Sipping this beer and knowing where it's from, is like, I just want to like have lobster and seafood and delicious stuff with this beer. Mm -hmm. That's what it makes me think of. So I'm, I'm going to say that's a yes. Awesome. awesome. But I'm not rating this first tonight. You are. This one, uh, you know, the funny thing is, it's, yes, it's really delicious. It's all that. But it's really just a very good, a very good lager. Yeah. Oh, or a Pilsner. I'm guessing it's more on the lager, I guess. Um, I, as much as I'm enjoying it and it's bringing back nostalgia, I'm probably going to say no more than a six. A six is a good rating. Oh, um, oh yeah. But it's just... It's a happy taste. It brings back memories of the, like the first time I ever tried to taste a beer. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Six works for me as well. All right. Um, I'm so glad I actually finally tried it. Um, it's also super cheap. Uh, um, uh, like the um, there was another one we saw the other night. Uh, the Cristal we saw the other night is like seven dollars a six pack. It's cheaper than water. Um, so get yourself an Narragansett uh, and say hi to your neighbors. 
Uh, and again, thank you for joining us. Um, until we drink again, my friends. Cheers.